They've also now invested in linebacker, and I guess that's the final yeah. thing I want to talk about with the, the defense. You know, Roquan Smith's debut um, comes out like literally in the first series that uh, third down run stop he had was kind of his welcome to Baltimore moment. Um, but I, you know, I, I was really curious to see what he would do for the rest of the defense, and I thought the early results were super encouraging um, because you know because he is so good at so many things: coverage, blitzing, tackling. It enables the rest of the unit to play a little bit freer. Notably, yeah. I thought this was one of Patrick Queen's yeah. best games as a pro, and it's to me not surprising. Of course, you bring in one of the best, you know, off-ball linebackers in the league. Of course, he's playing a little bit freer, and uh, that I, I really liked seeing the two of them play together. And I and I'm I think it's going to pay dividends throughout the season. Yeah, Roquan Smith's coverage was really impressive in this game to me on Alvin Kamara and like. Roquan's a guy who, like, you know is good, you hear is good, you see him every now and then, but you don't watch a lot because they haven't been relevant. Yeah. But, like, watching him and really keying in on him because it was a trade, it's like, yeah, I, I get why <laughs> you would go after this guy because, again, it speaks to the idea of taking pressure off of other places is Roquan can carry. And you don't have to, like, when you go up against one of these running backs who's effective out of the backfield, you don't have to, like – uh dedicate a bunch of players to being like hey we got to make sure we play zone because we can't yeah. man up on this guy or we got to in and out him it just it gives you more flexibility elsewhere he, he just kind of go back to what i talked earlier about mike mcdonald who likes those simulated pressures he's kind of like the perfect linebacker for that because yeah. he can blitz and he can cover so well and that's going to be um, when you think about teams like the bills you know, simulated pressures are one of the thing, the rare things that Josh Allen has struggled with. So having that in your pocket, as the Ravens do now, is pretty significant. Yeah. And they took Roquan out and dime, too, which kind of surprised me. I guess it's just because he's yeah. still learning things. But, like, that's that's one of the things that when you're – we talked about last week, one of the, the really important things uh, was the 49ers and their flexibility with their offensive personnel. A guy like Roquan Smith is is a guy that would take that stress away from you, and yeah. where you're like, all right, fine, put Christian McCaffrey out there. Roquan will be comfortable in space. All right, put him in the backfield. Roquan's fine with that. And so many other teams are like, man, we're gonna have to put a safety in. And then they're like, fine, put a safety in. We'll smash <laughs> right in your face with this this safety trying to play linebacker. So Roquan gives them some flexibility. Hamilton's been good, too, in their dime package yeah. in the first-round pick. Yeah. Hamilton. Increasingly, I notice him more and more every week. Obviously, he had the interception that didn't count in this game, but he's been better in coverage every week, too. So Ravens defense, arrow pointing up. 